I just thought I'd do an impromptu video on um, the Lionsgate and August and everything that's going to be happening this month. So we've got a really, really, wow, huge month. We've got two full, super full moons. We've got all these planets in retrograde and we've got the A8 Lionsgate and, uh, you know, what a journey and what a cosmic sky we have this month. So there's going to be a lot of uh, push and pull energy, a lot of reflecting, a lot of looking back at the past, um, a time to clean up, let go, let go, let go, let go of anything that's not serving you now because, you know, the energies that are coming in are profound, uh, huge, huge waves coming in. So this is a month that we get the chance to clear and you might, the thoughts may be quite obsessive. Uh, and you might be doing a lot of overthinking, you know, you might be feeling a little bit emotional, um, feeling a little bit ungrounded as well. The, the energy is just intense. So, you know, we are recalibrating and our system is uh, moving into higher space. So the body is going through a lot right now. And the body is going to go through a lot because it's alchemizing, it's purific purifying the old density and it's trying to recalibrate and move into a new operating system of higher vibration which means new technologies new energy uh, new abilities coming online uh, new, new expansion new ideas new creativity and but we have to allow that process so when the body is upgrading you have to give it space you know you have to allow yourself to slow down uh, and receive and integrate all that is coming in so this is a month for I would say up your meditation, make time, make space, you know, retreat, um, clear, 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 clear. Look at your thoughts, look at your patterns, look at any addictive patterns. You may be noticing that you're eating more. I've heard, you know, a few people say that to me, that they're eating more, they're going back towards their comfort foods or what, looking for that sugar fix, you know, um, and chocolate and things like that. So... You know, these deeper emotions might be coming to the surface and, and our, our old way would be to, you know, reach out to comfort food. I know that used to be mine, you know, a cup of tea and a biscuit. And I know I noticed that when I, I sometimes do that, you know, to go reach out for a cup of tea and a, it's a very British thing to do, but and a, and a biscuit. But um, that might be coming up for you this month. So, or you may be working out excessively, you know, or... Um, running away from whatever's coming up and making yourself very busy so just to be present with everything that's coming up this month because um, you know we are going deeper into the heart and we are healing and we are letting go and we're releasing the old model of who we thought we were to access more of who we truly are you know and we are in hybrid stage so we are becoming we are becoming and in the unbecoming we become so in the undoing we become uh, and we access more of our true self. So letting go of the identities, letting go of the restrictive patterns, letting go of the limitations that have held you back and just allowing yourselves to expand, expand, expand and grow and stepping out of your comfort zone to meet new versions of yourselves. And you won't recognize yourself through this process. You know, if you look back five years from now, and it's always when we look back, we see how much we've grown and how much we've uh, evolved and, you know, how much we've worked through. It is only when we look back can we see the transformation. So look back five years, you know, look back 10 years. We're closing a 10 year cycle at the moment. What were you doing 10 years ago in 2013? Uh, what journey were you on, you know, and uh, look how far you've come in this last decade. Imagine the next decade, imagine who you will become and everything you'll access and what is going to, you know, unveil for you through this time. So, you know, be curious. And when we did the Arcturian healing pods on Monday, uh, they said, you know, you are explorers from the universe. You've come here to have an experience um, and not to go down too many rabbit holes, but just to have an experience but don't get attached so attached to the experience but keep exploring keep expanding keep uh, flowing and moving through that time and i'm going to actually put that little piece of recording on my instagram uh to today so that you can listen to what they said but really we are here to explore expand grow and become everything that we came here to be and discover the true beauty of our soul 
and how much power we have within us, how powerful we are. You know, we are cosmic beings. We have access to the entire cosmos within us. But as we upgrade our DNA, we start to plug in more of our power and we start to access more of our quantum and cosmic tools and gifts. So there's going to be so much coming in, so much creativity, so much magic, so much beauty. And it's to make space. We've got to make space in the body for what wants to come in. You know, if our wardrobes are full and our house is full, then we can't buy new things. And it's the same with energy. If there's so much clutter in thoughts and you're so busy in your day to day and there's no room in your, in your body because it's full of old emotions, old traumas and old energies that you're still holding on to for dear life, then there's no space for this new energy to come in and this energy needs space. So, you know, sometimes spirit says you have to be an empty vessel. Be empty to be filled. Become empty to be filled. I think Rumi wrote that quote, become empty to be filled. But really, that has been my journey, become empty to be filled. And when you become empty, your vessel is filled with new light, new new technologies, new ideas, new healing modalities, new and new people, new places, and new collaborations, new community. Um, so really, you know, letting go of attachments, let looking at your addictions again, looking at imbalanced relationships and where, you know, you've given your power away uh, as you reclaim parts of you and come back to your wholeness, you will be able to then step into, you know, more, more access more of your power and when you have your full power wow you become <laughs> you make the impossible possible when you access your true power you become and make the impossible possible you know you become so powerful that you have access to so much and that's the power that is within you and when you discover that about yourself you'll never fear again you just won't let fear touch you because you remember how deeply connected you are to the universe and source and Mother Earth and all the angelic beings and the angelic kingdoms. You'll just realize how powerful, you know, and the energy that you have access to. So keep letting go of resistance and keep opening up to new flows and new vibrancy and new energies and new frequencies that want to come in and bless your lives. So the body is upgrading is receiving these new light frequencies and the body takes time to catch up so we receive the light and then the body takes time so you can get symptoms while you're going through an upgrade but we will be really taking quantum jumps this month so 8-8 eight, eight is a powerful powerful day um, and you know on Monday we did a, a journey with the Arcturians and the lions the white lionesses appeared so <laughs> we are in the lion's gate window and the white lionesses always appear and I will be doing a live transmission from Los Angeles on that date. Join us for it. It's going to be so beautiful with the white lionesses um, and to receive the abundance codes and all the energy that's coming in. We're going to be transmitting it uh, into the body. So uh, I'm excited about that journey. And we're also going to be connecting to the Lemurian Stargate, Mount Shasta for 8-8. So join us for that. I'll put the link in the description box below. But really this month is going to be uh, incredibly, incredibly powerful, <laughs> beyond imagination, the guides say. So let's see if there's any other messages they want to give uh, for August. And the word I'm hearing is peace, just create peace in the body, be peaceful. And when we are peaceful and in a neutral state and space, we can receive more. So calm the mind, become peaceful, become present. Uh, we're doing that with the Essenes tomorrow, presence. Become present, become peaceful. And allow yourselves to receive the new energies that are coming in. And be in a loving space and be full of gratitude and grace. Just open, uh, open your vessel, you know, go into nature and just connect with Mother Earth and just allow all this beauty to come and bless your life and all the abundance that wants to be gifted to you. When we resist the love, we get in the way of the flow and we don't want to block the flow. We want to allow the flow to come through us. So open your heart, open your mind, open your being, open, open, open to receive the love. And gratitude is a way, great way to get into the heart and connect with the miracles and the abundance of the universe. 
anything else be in a space of love they say be in a space of love so that you can really receive the love frequencies you so you can listen to sound uh, the saying uh, love frequencies uh, you can listen to um, abundance frequencies triple eight uh, Hertz you can get that on YouTube um, 528 Hertz which also for love frequencies you can listen to and just keeping yourself in a higher space this month keeping yourself at the highest frequencies of light that you can to receive and match the frequencies that are coming in so try not to drop too much into the shadow and if emotions come up self-regulation is really important through this time knowing how to self-regulate how to recalibrate use your breath use meditation use nature use energy work you get yourself back into calm a peaceful presence and that's when you can really access and open up to receive the magic that wants to you know come in this month so presence is key this month just be very mindful be aware if you dip into fear recalibrate bring yourself back into center come back to neutrality and then and try and stay in that space as much as possible look into what's coming up for you and why and see if it's an old program that you've been you know working through and just say delete i let this go i'm releasing this from my field now this doesn't need to go into the new vibrations with me so just do some really deep inner, inner work self-reflection self-inquiry this month um, and let go let go let go release 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 uh, and open to receive 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 open to receive 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 open 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 to receive 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 so sending everyone lots of love and magic and uh, eight eight blessings and i hope you have a really amazing august ride this wave <laughs> there's going to be a lot of waves this month but ride the wave see what's coming up and but keep opening your heart the key is to keep opening your heart and that's when the magic happens yeah so let go of the resistance and keep opening your heart to more so i send you love and magic and blessings and uh, i will be back on uh, in a few days to bring in another transmission through from source or from the guides or from goddess isis has been around quite a bit uh, recently so we'll see and kuan yin as well so we'll see who wants to come in next but for now i send you my love and i'll speak to you soon so take care everyone and see you soon.